What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Like the video if you like it. Today we are here with my buddy Jason. What's up? And it's Factory 5818. So today we are actually taking out the engine and Jason is going to show me how simple it is. Hopefully. So hopefully for someone that's obviously not a mechanic. So that way if you guys are looking at doing putting the engine out and then now, to be fair, he has done like some easy disassembly mods. Yeah, I've done. Mods. I've, yeah, I've uh, I've made it a little bit easier to pull it out. Um, I've done some things. We'll explain those as we go, just to kind of give you an idea of what I've done and how much it actually helps. On maybe two hours at the most, but we'll see. We're gonna have a time lapse for you guys, so that way you can watch a little bit here on this video, maybe or like midweek. I'll go ahead and post the full time lapse, so you guys can watch the engine pulling yeah. thing. So. See, the, see the whole process. <laughs> yeah, see the whole process. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There we are. All right, guys. So we just took off the rear bumper, the wing, and pretty much disconnected the oil line. And what else? What am I missing? We're about to take the whole uh, rear, rear mount off, this whole rear wing mount. And All we've, this. Uh, we've been working for about 15 minutes. So, so, that. so keep watching. Um, we're about to uh, disconnect the oil lines, right? Yeah, so there's so the oil, this is the transmission oil cooler. There's two uh, quick disconnects down here. We're gonna disconnect those, and then we got the oil disconnects for the oil lines. There's uh, two, two, three of them, and four maybe. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. We're gonna disconnect all those, and that will free up the entire wing mount, and we'll be able to uh, remove the remove the whole rear wing mount, and shouldn't lose but a couple, of, just a little bit of oil, not much. So that being said, if you are planning on building one, definitely recommend. And there he goes, getting a phone call. So, all right guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to the GoPro footage and continue taking apart the car, so. The final product is out of the engine bay. It wasn't too hard though. It, we took maybe a, an hour and 45 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, right about an hour and 45 minutes to get it out. Um, pretty straightforward. You know, there was a couple of things that we kind of forgot, just small like hoses here and there as, as you're pulling out. You just gotta be real, real careful, you know, just an inch at a time. We even left the exhaust manifold on and the intake manifold. The advantage of having the dry sump is we don't have the oil pan sticking down, so. Um, we we're actually able to take it out that way. Most people generally remove the, the intake manifold, the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, which will give a lot more clearance, make it a lot easier to remove. But um, 
we left it all in and it worked out pretty well. Um, you can see all the dry brake connectors that we had, so for the oil lines and everything. So the so the engine engine yeah. still has the oil in it. The tank has oil in it. We lost like maybe three or four ounces of oil Look at that. all in. So I, I love those connectors. It just makes it so much cleaner, not having to deal with oil everywhere. Like all the dirt you see is just because. I have oil leaks that the engine had. It wasn't from us pulling it. It's dirty from fixing oil leaks, which, yeah. which is one of the reasons why we're pulling the engine is to you know fix those leaks. So you can see all the oil build up like right here. You know it's all nasty. There's a oil leak there somewhere. So other than that, you know you can see the electrical connectors. So you know nice thing about having the ECU mounted on the firewall is that just the two ECU connectors, and I got one bulkhead connector and then a power cable. That's it. That's all you need to do to remove. Uh, pretty much remove the engine other than battery. All in all, not not too difficult. Um, pretty pretty easy process. It'll take a little bit longer without the you know a couple little uh, shortcuts that I have. This all being said is, with a couple hand tools, you can easily take a motor out of the factory five eight one eight. Oh yeah, which... definitely doesn't doesn't take doesn't take much. Um, getting it in there is pretty much just the same in reverse order. So yeah, it's the car looks like it's really really difficult. It's, it's not a very difficult car. It's fairly straightforward. You got a lot of room to work. Um, it's, you know, pretty manageable. I, yeah. this is the, I didn't really do anything before this, and this is the biggest thing that I've done automotive by far, and it just takes yeah. a while. Well, all right, guys. Uh, that's going to be the end of that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the GoPro did unfortunately die, and we were continuing. So whatever footage... Uh, you guys saw from that I can still make another video out of it just to you know let you guys see whatever it caught you can just leave a couple comments in the comment section and I'll go ahead and take care of that but yeah this is this is it guys like this is a full motor outside of the engine bay so all right Jason I want to thank you again no, for inviting no me over to uh, attack this quick fun easy project yeah Pulling a motor, that's so crazy. That shouldn't be in the same same category, but. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next Friday for another awesome Texas Project Cars video. Um, so, peace. <laughs>